Hello all you wonderful people. This is a video on the 10 coolest things you can buy for your Jaguar XF. Now keep in mind this is not a paid promotion by Aliexpress to me. This is just a video that I'm doing because I've had a lot of questions on where did I get this or that on my car and some of my videos. So I thought I'd do this video because a lot of the stuff that I have in my car, the accessories, I got from Aliexpress. I might even do a video on the 10 crappiest things that you can get for your car on Aliexpress and to totally avoid at all costs. So the first thing on the list is the sunglasses holder. I constantly don't know what to do with my sunglasses and I actually have ordered one of these just yesterday and I've ordered the the grey one because my car has a beige interior and this is something you actually have to just be careful for before you buy something like this, a trim piece, because even though my car has a beige interior, the cream seats and, and uh, carpets, my hood lining is actually grey, it's not uh, cream. So I almost made the mistake and bought this one. So that's not the one to buy if you have grey hood lining. And some of the Jaguars actually have black hood lining so you get black as well. And you can see it actually has a bit of felt on the inside so that when your sunglasses are in there and you don't need them, um, they don't bounce around and, and rattle and, and drive you nuts. And I've already measured uh, my car so I know that this is going to fit. This will fit our cars and you can see it just screws in and you can actually use the screws that come out of your car's existing grab handle and just use them on the, the new sunglasses holder. Obviously you're not going to have a grab handle to grab hold of so if you're fat and you're, <laughs> you're not fit um, you, you'd rather just stay away from this. But I just want to point out they say 168 centimeters it's actually 168 millimeters um, and our cars are between 168 and 172 millimeters so this will fit perfectly and um, I might even do a review on this when it arrives I might even do a how to fit it when it arrives and then at number nine this cargo net which you can actually put in your trunk and it uses velcro to stick onto the carpet of your trunk and it sticks like shit to a stick I mean this stuff is so good I've actually put milk um, I've even put eggs, I've put all kinds of things in mine so that you know it doesn't fall around. You can put bottles in there. It does not come loose. It will not come loose. Uh, you will actually even struggle to pull it off with your hands once you've stuck it on. So be sure that when you stick it onto your trunk that you are putting it in the exact place where you want it to be because once it's stuck it is pretty difficult to get it off and you might end up pulling strands of your carpet off. That's how strong this Velcro is. It's very durable, it's very strong and it's made from very good materials and I think at the price, $5, it really is a bargain. It's quite a steal actually. And then the next item are these um, electric seat uh, buttons or button covers. I bought some of these for my car and I already did a video on some of the stuff that I've you know, put in my car. My previous video featured some of that stuff but I didn't cover everything that I fitted like the mud flaps and the cargo net and the seat buttons. Uh, if you guys want me to I'll, I'll do a video on that but these buttons are actually fitted to my car currently and they look very very nice and if you look at these there it's on, against a black background and my car is beige so my buttons were beige and I wanted a bit of you know bling so I put these on and they, they fit with double-sided tape they install pretty quickly and pretty easily actually and they're both for left and right hand side and you can see this lady is showing you how to to fit them and within minutes your car is actually transformed you know and it's not just the look of it it's also the feel of it you know because you're not really looking at the buttons when you're adjusting your seat you're feeling and it's got a much better feel than the current buttons now I just want to point out if you have a later model Jaguar X250 between I think 2011 and 2015 or 16 you probably have these buttons already um, on your car as I think Jaguar were actually fitting the, the black with the chrome from 2011 onwards but the models prior to that will probably not have this feature on, on their cars. The next item that we're moving on to is the, um, the 
external mirror chrome rings. Now these rear view mirror chrome, chrome rings look pretty nice I think and I would have liked to have fitted these to my car because keeping that black strip around your mirror surround is quite difficult um, and if you use polish on your car or wax, I, I often wax my car, the wax gets onto that black piece and it's very difficult to get it off. So I was actually thinking about fitting these to my car but then I realized, hold on, my car doesn't have the small indicator strip. My car has the big one. So my car was a pre-facelift. And if you look down here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Just waiting for it to load. And you can see it sticks on as well with double-sided tape. And I must say that most of the items that you buy on AliExpress, the double-sided tape is pretty good. Uh, it's it's pretty strong. You know, when you stick something on it, it sticks on and it doesn't come off. So you can see there's a car in in a showroom, a Jaguar showroom. You can see what what it looks like. I think this yeah, this is a white car. And you can see what I'm talking about there with the thin indicator strip on the mirror. If you have an older model with the old mirrors, like my car, um, this will not fit your car. So just be sure about that before you're buying. Now $45 is pretty costly, I think, because um, it's kind of like a brushed aluminium effect, but I doubt that they are brushed aluminium. Um, they look pretty plastic to me. So at $45, I think it's quite a lot, but it really does, I think it would actually make one's car look nice and also be practical. Then the other item is are these little things, and I've, I've actually ordered some of these for my car as well. I'm still waiting for them to arrive. These you actually stick in your front doors where your grab handle is. Now don't worry, you can still grab your, your grab handle and you can still close your door once these are fitted. You can see there's a little rubber, a little rubber piece inside there. So if you do have coins and things or you do drop things in there like your phone or whatever, um, it's not going to rattle around and I think yeah here's what it looks like when it's fitted in the door. It looks pretty unobtrusive to me and it looks almost like an OE fitment um, you know if you look at these pictures. So if it fits like the picture says which it probably will you can see there's there's a facelift uh, Jaguar XF you can see the buttons for the door I mean for the window are black and here's one like mine pre-facelift the buttons are, are aluminium and it fits both of them so facelift pre-facelift doesn't matter this will fit your car and it's even got a nice little um, spongy thing on the back so um, when you put it in it, it kind of forces it to fit nice and snug so I think um, it's pretty handy to have if you don't have a place to put your cell phone you've got too much junk in your car now speaking of junk <laughs> if you like to keep things you know a lot of little things stored in your car um, I've been thinking about buying this, I haven't bought it personally yet, I might, I don't know, because of the fact that I actually have, um, you know, a charger in my center console and all that, that's kind of kept me from buying this, um, and you can see that is definitely a Jaguar XF there. So this is tailored for the Jaguar XF, the X250 models, and you just slot this right in there and it kind of acts as a secondary compartment for your stuff so you can put stuff underneath that and then you can also put stuff on top of this and it's got space for coins and you can even store them by de denomination and it's got space there for your cell phone and it's got space there for other little things like chargers and, and whatnot so I think um, at 15 bucks it's really not bad you know including shipping here yeah, for me it's 17 bucks so I think it's not too bad um, and you can see here that they show you that it does leave space for your iPod and your auxiliary inputs. Um, I don't have the iPod or uh, um, USB, I've just got the auxiliary input. So I think it's, it would be quite handy to have in your car. And there you can see a picture of it with a cell phone. And then I, I did include this one in my video. This was the front grille um, R badge. Now, as I pointed out in my video, this thing comes with a little screw and a backing plate. So you've got to get that backing plate with your arm, undo the top of your bumper, 
and then get your wedge your arm in there and you need a very small arm a very thin arm because if you've got big bulky arms you're probably gonna well you're gonna leave your arm behind because I had a massive bruise on my arm for days after fitting this thing. I didn't want to take the bumper off. The, ideally the bumper really should come off to fit this but I managed to get it done without um, taking the bumper off and therefore my R badge is a little higher than it really should be but I couldn't care. I got it on there and I'm, it won't be touched ever again. But you might have to use a different screw because I found that the screw they supplied was too short. Um, you need a longer screw so just make sure that you have a screw before you even try fitting this that is slightly not too long but slightly longer than the one they supply but it is a very nice addition and it's quite a high quality badge as well you won't find that the color fades or that it peels off or even that the chrome peels off I've you know polished mine with a, a polishing buffer an electric polisher and the chrome didn't come off so it's pretty good quality and at 10 bucks I mean it's it's not too bad I see shipping is a bit much to me but again look for cheaper ones on Aliexpress or you can even buy them on eBay I think and then these are the little mats that the storage mats that I've actually had a lot of uh, queries on you know where did I get them and it looks like many of, of you in particular like these now I don't know why the picture is not showing up properly um, yeah there we go so as you can see this is for your front door it's for your um, your rear doors your front doors your center console your armrest inside your armrest um, your cup holders and then the little one at, in the middle there right in the center at the top is where your um, well on my car I have a cup holder right in the front but I think on later models they actually move the lighter socket to the front um, where you have that little wood panel that you can open up and these were probably the best investment I made because they really lift the interior of your car and you can buy them with red white or blue and I bought blue because you know the interior illumination of the Jaguar is this exact same color and they were quite clever to make it a similar kind of blue so it almost looks like they light up at night but they don't um, but they are really nice to have because when you dirty them you just take them out and you can just put them under the tab and you can you know, brush them with a little brush and get them nice and clean and then the other thing is the R badge that I bought for my car's trunk you know it's only five dollars um, okay call it six dollars with shipping and as I pointed out, the adhesive on this particular item is not very good. And I don't think it's going to matter where you buy it, e e either eBay or Aliexpress or even Amazon. I don't think uh, they all come from the same supplier, actually, um, same manufacturer. And the it's metal. It is a metal piece. But um, you're going to have to just make sure that when you buy this for your car or if you're going to buy this for your car or any of the decals that they actually sell, um, most of them are metal, you're going to find that you're going to have to replace the adhesive. And what I found is they stuck white adhesive on this thing and it's black and you really need it to be black. So I changed mine to a black adhesive and because uh, it fell off after washing the car twice it actually fell off. <laughs> so I would recommend definitely putting a stronger adhesive on and possibly a black one and then the last item at number one is the rear bumper scuff protective um, cover now this is like a rubber thing that you buy and it comes with 3M tape as well and you stick it onto your bumper and it stops your bumper from getting scraped and scratched now if you've got an older XF you probably have scratches and scrapes already but this will just protect it from happening even further and I've been considering this for my car because I have a dark car um, my car is dark grey and I don't think this would look too bad on my car but if you have a white car like this one is um, I don't think it would look too nice on a white car or even a red car for that matter you, know, you can see that it, it stands out but if you've got a black car or a grey car or a dark blue um, you know the darker colors this really does help because the darker colors show up scratches more than the lighter colors and I have found that my car um, even swirl marks on the bonnet from polishing and washing and that kind of thing they show up very very quickly so 
Those are the 10 coolest things you can buy for your Jaguar. And as I said, I'm going to do another video on the 10 crappiest things that you can buy for your Jag and things to stay away from that I've learned through making mistakes. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that this has been of some help. If you look in the description, I've got a list there of all the items I've featured here. And you can just, you know, take those descriptions and pop them in. Just put Jaguar XF in front of the description and pop them into the search box and Bob's your uncle. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share and um, put any comments if you got in the comments below.